Welcome to Alien Theorist Theorizing. I'm Braden. I'm Dan. And I'm Andrew. And welcome to the weekly UFO review uh, number two dose. Um, this is from the week of September 20th to September 24th. Um, so we're just taking a peek at uh, some of the UFOs that uh, were seen, reported uh, on, and we're going to take a peek at the videos. Um, we're getting into a short it. week. No, no. It's I hope you got week. some good ones for us. Yeah. We're recording. This. I haven't seen these. I haven't seen any of these videos. Brains pulled me in here. I have no idea what any of these videos are about. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Going off means. the cuff. Um, now we were talking about before we start recording. Um, what should the scale be when we're uh, a believability scale? Or yeah, credibility believability scale? credibility scale. What are we thinking here? We were saying because well, zero to Gimlin's an like inside said, joke. From before, well, what's, but Gimlin, what's, but Patterson Gimlin, like Gimlin film, is like I think it's I think it more uh, applies appropriately to cryptids. Like I agree, it, it's more suitable to cri like a cryptid scale. If we're talking about Bigfoots, Goatman, Mothman, you know, Loch Ness monster, Gimlin would be in there. Well, what's the but, most? What would you say is the most credible UFO case we've we've talked about? I mean, you might want to. You, you could probably go with the. Gimbal? Like you go with the, the zero uh, to gimbal, baby. That oh, zero awesome. to gimbal. All right, done. So I get do like gimbal? the gimbal is confirmed with the military too, right? So zero yeah, to gimbal. so that is like a confer That's a confirmed yeah. UFO. So gimbal. Z zero to gimlin. Zero to gimbal. Like, zero I like, to go fast. Yeah. I don't know. Like you could. I, I like gimbal. Is, gimbal. Done. Okay. Right. Zero to gimbal. Gimbal. Done. Um. Well, why don't we get into the first video now that we've sorted that out? Um. I'll give you guys a little rundown. Then we'll play the video. Then we'll uh, give our thoughts. Um, so this video here is from Buffalo, New York, uh, USA. It was submitted um, August 25th, 2021. It's MUFON case number 117891, if you wanted to look it up. Um, and this submitter says that he seemingly caught some sort of alien probe searching for something. Or someone, perhaps. I added the He's, someone. He, okay, did, wait, did you add, add the alien probe thing, or he just said it was an alien probe? Well, he says, at about 8.24 p.m., an object comes in from the southwest close to my house, heading north, displaying a light. It appeared to be searching for something. Three okay. minutes later, another object, or maybe the same object, comes in from the southwest, and when close to my house, makes a sharp turn eastward, then abruptly turn north and continued out of camera view. It also appeared to be searching for something. Okay, so nowhere in there did you say alien probe. Well, UFO probe. Okay. Unidentified. Uh, you, it's a UFP, baby. All right, UFP. Unidentified flying probe. Yeah. Okay. We don't know. So let's uh, right. let's let's watch this video here and take it take a peek here. So. I mean, the little preview okay. clip, but uh, now we get the full video. Um, something with a light. Uh huh. Fucking China Lantern, boys. Yeah. That's exactly it's a, it's well, let's wait till big. let's wait till the end. So uh, too big it, for a China Lantern. So now we're looking. Two? I see one up by the power line there. It's just slowly drifting. It's pretty high. As it kind of does that wobble every now and then, I think I can see the light briefly oh i thought it could move before but oh yeah there's the light again as it's kind of going around so it's kind of like spinning view. a little bit right yeah and uh, here's another shot from what looks like uh the garage again it's a little higher this time just slowly drifting i don't know what's with the black it's spooky man with the clouds and shit it's scary i'm i'm well, thinking more well getting paranormally activated than seeing an abliums. it's uh it's night it's nighttime right because this is probably about 8 30 i think so 8 30 p.m that's spooky vibes and that's the end of the video okay okay can we watch it again can you bring it back to the beginning part where we got a good close-up of it right here yeah okay yeah, let's 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 analyze this one more time here. So it comes in, it's kind of wobbly. It definitely looks like it's floating. You know what I mean? Like being pushed by the wind. It almost looks like like it would look like a bag kind of in the wind, but it's weird that it has that the light, light on the bottom. Now, what if that's just some like high vis something? 
to me to me it looks like the light is just like at hanging from like it's how something would swing if it were heavy like on the bottom of a, a balloon or something floating like it's just like yeah it just it's just like wobbling back to back to and fro and then the light goes away from the camera then it comes back yeah, it's it looks like it's just like rotating around like you like a balloon would. I well, mean, and, and that he, would. Well, if you look at it there, I mean, we're looking at it. It looks like it has some squiggly off the dark, some squig like some squigglies. I, I'm not sure what it is, but here's my thing with the light. I'm not even sure if that's a uh, true light source. If that's reflective material of some sort, this is a night yeah, vision is, camera. Yeah. So, like you're saying, Andrew, this thing would illuminate to give it that almost appearance of a light, right? So. My thing is, I'm like, it never directly points to camera, points at the camera, so we never really have a good idea if it's actually a light or if that is some sort of reflective material. Yeah, it definitely looks like it's being, it's floating in the air. Like, it doesn't yeah. look like it's flying. It looks like it's floating. And then it's higher up in this one. Same thing. It does look like it's, it's just drifting. And looks then, like maybe it's a birthday balloon that's been a little bit deflated. Sure. And maybe the heavy <laughs> parts what keeps it kind of. You and know like what I mean? at like the. Sometimes at the base, you know, they have them a little bit heavy. What's well, strange that it would come back in the same area. Like you think it would, if this was. Maybe it was a set of balloons. If it's the same one, I don't know. Also the fact like, like right off, right off the bat, my, my initial impression is that it was like a, a China lantern. It looks like a Chinese lantern, like a floating Chinese lantern. But I'm also like who in Buffalo, New York is releasing Chinese lanterns around this time celebrating the fuck the night before kickoff i think oh no that's a little no, bit too early this is too early <laughs> so i like what dan's saying dan's on the lines and maybe it's like 99 it, loops it's just balloons. like wobbler it looks like it's being influenced too much by like air current or the way that it's moving yeah, it's, it's floating. Not, yeah it's, it's not flying it's floating so after after looking like if like, let's say if that's a light and that light is at the at the uh is at the bottom and there's a camera eye or something, whoever's looking is getting sick. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there's no way you're getting it. Like, that's looking so quick. It's like, it's like, looks like it's teetering. Um, I'm going to go I, with deflated uh, birthday balloon. On So it's zero to zero to gimbal. You're somewhere, but not zero. Is, five? is it like, is it like zero, <laughs> one, two, three, four yeah. gimbal? No, it's, uh, it's five, six, seven, eight. Nine gimbal. Gimbal. So. So Andrew, where do you fall on that? Gimbal? Is this one? To, is this a zero to Whoa. ten scale or what? Yeah, hey, zero to ten. Look at look at the time and the date in the top fucking left. Yeah. It's fucking spooky, boys. Oh, eight twenty five, eight twenty five. Interesting. Yeah, man. I never Isn't saw that, that before. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this one's it's eight thirty, eight thirty. But at that exact moment is when. Shit got paranormal. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. I'm glad you brought this up. Now that I'm looking at this, this is at 8:25. This is five minutes before. I didn't realize I didn't have this sequence properly because this is how it was sent in. So at 8:25, look how high this thing is, right? At 8:25, this thing drifts over the garage at that height. Oh, then, so it's coming down. Then five minutes later, it's low. It comes over low interesting right so so wouldn't that I don't, like <laughs> well i'm just saying i'm just saying if it, if it is in fact like say we're we're gonna lean towards it's some sort of balloon that some shot one of those foily fucking fancy balloons mm -hmm. it was up high you would think it would continually drift like the chances of it circling the block i'm gonna say are low well wait, it's running out of helium though like right going around there like going around bring it back around in five or a minutes, change, a change in wind. I mean, yeah, but then it would be going the other way. Like it's it, it we're in within in five minutes, it does a nice loop and it's back. I'm just saying. Mm, interesting. All right, let's let's get the let's get zero to gimbal. And Andrew, what are you thinking? Zero. Fucking <laughs> out of <laughs> ten. Yeah, out of ten. There's no chance. It's not an alien. I mean, I give it like a two, I guess. If this is a scale. This is like a zero to ten, zero to yeah. ten scale. Like uh, I put maybe like a two. I put like a two on there, maybe. Um, you know what? I I I also am scoring it low because of those the night vision camera. The night vision camera is they're not the best, so we might be getting fooled. 
thinking it's a light when you first look at it when really that might just be some sort of reflective material so i'm going to score it a little higher than you guys on the on the gimbal scale uh i'm going to give it a a faux the gimbal the gimbal yes um <laughs> all right so uh next up we've got where is this one um divinopolis brazil um, this is submitted uh, July 24th, 2021, MUFON case 117925. Um, listen, if you're watching this, uh, you, I, I Google translated the description and it's in it's on the original YouTube video for this. I just don't have it Google translated. All yeah, I know Dan, is... Dan can translate that shit, can't you? It's Portuguese. Not if it's, it's Portuguese. <laughs> Portuguese? Uh, <laughs> So all all I know to give you guys any kind of reference is that this was shot by someone um, in Divinopolis, Brazil. So, all right. Without further ado, let's see what they caught. We can see uh, something flicker in there on the preview. Let's see what they... looking something whoa something flashed okay. there yep interesting and that's it it's a little slow mo for you okay a slower mo zoomed in okay oh man you know what that looks like it looks like when superman's fighting like zod and he gets punched and there's just like boom you know yeah. he's like flying. Yeah. air shockwave yeah. Well, exactly. I'll try to I'll try to pause it like right there at a, at a shockwave. Like it, it, that is, I mean, some weird action for like a cloud phenomena. Um, that looks like a jellyfish. Well, it's it's interesting because it like it really pops. I I just I've never seen anything like that. It almost looks like someone when you're underwater and you blow up like an air ring. Um. But I mean, this would surprise me if I saw this on a blue sky. I just saw the, some white thing pulsating like that. Um, it's definitely interesting. Now, like I, I go to think, I'm like, you know, could this be some sort of camouflage on a craft? Is that and that's what you're th that we're, we're seeing? Because I I'm just not sure what is. Is there almost is there more it. context to the video about like where it was shot at? Like I know it's shot over. Divinopolis, but or uh yeah give me one second like here. why was the camera pointed there why was the person filming they saw it? it and then started but let me let me tell you exactly so they said um a flat transparent object that kept kept rotating on its own axis in the photo it looks like a soap bubble but it was bigger and it was very high it was difficult to record because it had a transparent aspect and because it was rotating on its own axis, it was seen in the late afternoon, right in the center of the city, which is very busy. That's the best Google Translate money could buy. Well, it'd be nice if some people who saw it in the city in the middle of the day had some more videos to it. That'd be neat. Yeah, if we could, uh, definitely. I mean, it's pretty recent, so there there is a chance that more people will come forward and, and with footage of this thing. With it, with the sky that clear, somebody else has for sure seen that. Well, well I mean, just like the camera was kind of zoomed out because I'd be like, "What what terrain are we looking at? Is it over the city now?" We kind of thing. Me like, and Zell said this that you know, if you see something in the sky, you have some wherewithal, and you were getting your camera out. The two things to really help before you want to, if you want to zoom in on the craft, great, do it. But two things to do first: make sure you're in landscape. And make sure you have something else, a building top, a tree top, something for reference so we can see size. And if it's moving, you can kind of gauge speed. It's always hard when you're watching a video like this and it's just sky and object, nothing else. I mean, it's yeah, really Yeah, if you zoomed hard. in that far, it could be a camera artifact, could be like, I don't, I, I mean, they, they say that it was reported seen over the city. So if other people saw it, that'd be nice to have some more videos of it, but it just... Yeah, it seems to just like appear and then disappear really quick. It doesn't seem like it to me. It doesn't give the impression of a like rotational motion. It just disappears. Well, like, it's it hard. Just I just see it like a yeah. It seems like a flash. Well, every now and then when I really look at like this part, it looks like maybe it 
there's something that kind of like maybe does rotate if you watch like it, after it flips it kind of maybe looks like it's spinning a little bit but i don't know if that's just the way it, where it's like pulsing forward uh that's the slow-mo zoom up another slow-mo zoom up of the it's hard right like that's a it's a ghost yeah right it's i mean a, that could also be like an atmospheric like atmospheric uh balloon ball lightning because <laughs> those those are kind of clear there's there's not a chance we're two for two balloons here. We're gonna zero to Casper. I give it a five. Um, for me, like I, if I saw this in the sky, how they describe it and what we're seeing here with my naked eye, I would definitely be pulling out my camera uh, and taking a look. Whether it's uh, like an actual UFO object or something, I'm not sure. Maybe it's some sort of atmospheric phenomenon because it it doesn't really look like um you know shapes of crafts that we know or you know that we hear about or other reports of and the fact that we just have no reference how zoomed in is this max zoom how big is this object is this object really small this object very large it's really hard to say by this so um zero to gimbal for me um i i tend to lean to it's this one's going to be a low one for me as well I, i'm giving it three out of the gimbal scale Dan, what do you uh, think? I wanted to give it. I want to give it the benefit of the doubt. I'm, I might go zero on this one because that if you if you Google like atmospheric balloon or weather balloon, like that's what they look like. <laughs> I know the fact that it's not really moving, but I also don't like like you already said that there's no there's no ground, there's no terrain for reference, there's no nothing. Like I don't even I don't know how fast it's going, um, and they're just saying that it's rotating. Uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, you ruined it yeah. for me. I can't really put it. <laughs> you definitely. Re- I just googled uh, atmospheric balloon, and it's the exact same thing. That's what, exactly what it is. See? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah Without exactly a doubt. <laughs> yeah, can't change my exactly score to zero. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's an atmospheric that's balloon. Bummer. I I was convinced because I was like I I can't I mean I, it but it like disappears really quick that's the only thing for me like is it like that's I just wish we had more context like, just more visual context to be like okay like is it like moving like it doesn't really is it really really far away from the person they're zoomed in really really far and they're only getting so much and you know that's the only that's the only thing but yeah it's to me it looks like an atmospheric balloon the way that it's formed and the way they described no, it like, and. Don't be discouraged. If you have something like this on video, um, send it in. Like just because we're we can be critical on videos, that's a good thing because then when you find something that is truly amazing, it's just that much better. Um, let's go to the next video here, which is from Ischia, Naples, Nepal, Italy, Naples, uh, Naples. And this was submitted uh, September 17th, 2021. MUFON number 118021. Um, this is cloud covered lights uh, with a third spinning and flashing very fast. Um, that's the only description these people give. If you're, if you're going to go through the trouble of submitting, um, submitting a story to us or to MUFON, give a little bit more of a long description. Let us know the time. Let us know um you know whereabouts you were if, if you have the wherewithal to know if you're facing north south east west uh that kind of stuff give a little bit more of a description if you can um it just it just helps when you're kind of reviewing these things because you really have nothing to go f- from like cloud covered lights with the third spinning and flashing very fast not the best description but let's uh let's take a peek so this is a little preview clip um I see two seemingly blue hazy lights. I see one kind of flicking down below. Oh, okay. I see the lights now. Yeah, they're just faint, really faint blue just sitting there. Though they don't appear to be moving, not stationary, just floating there. I don't really th- see the third one. I 
don't see any movement. Oh, there we go. Third flash there made a perfect triangle. What? You didn't see it there? <laughs> no. I barely see the. Okay, yeah, now I, can see, I the see the two. Back, they disappeared there. for a bit. Okay, hold on. I'll bring it back to the third one in a second here. Yeah, like zoom it in or something. Can you do that? Yep. Hold on. Where was that third one? Right around there. See that? Is it like, oh, on the top there? There's like above one, them? two, three. Oh, in the middle, maybe, kind of? Oh, yeah, in the middle, kind of? Yeah, you see that there? There's, so there's one, two, and three. Like, they kind of form a triangle. Yeah, I can kind of, yeah, I can kind of see it. Um, you know, this is a perfect example of why we, we need more information when we've seen these things. Because I have no frame of reference to look if this is maybe a cloudy day. That's looking at the side of a mountain, right? And those are lights on a mountain. Because it's so dark, we have no reference of this as sky um, other than the description, which is cloud-covered lights with a third spinning and flashing very fast. So it's really hard for me because I don't see the spinning. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't see this. I don't see the spinning, and it just seems like stationary light. So I, I'm almost thinking that it's p potentially lights through a cloud or something. I can't really see the spinning or anything. I just see the. I saw the two lights, the kind of faint lights, and I guess they said it was cloudy. Is yeah, that what you said. They, what it just is cloud covered lights. That's cloud it. Cloud covered lights, and they're not. They're stationary, and they're just kind of sitting there. Yeah, we could be looking at the side of a mountain, or um, could be, could be. I I, I don't know. Yeah, I also don't know like exactly where the city is. If it's a large city, those could be spotlights. Like those could be something like that. I would think. Because that can happen sometimes. I think, isn't, isn't Isha, isn't it an island? I think, I believe so. I, I, I had to look it up once. Uh, yes, it's an island. Okay. Just okay. off of Italy. Yeah, like it's like, like the Gulf of Naples, I think. But it just makes me think that it might not be like that big of a city on this island, right? Like well, any big like... Yeah, so I'm saying, is it a vac yeah. it's not a vacation spot or anything? So well, it's probably a vacation. Is spot. it a tourist? tourist it is area? a volcanic island. Um, I don't know if it's uh, if the volcano is active, but I mean, we have heard stories before about um, UFOs and stuff being active around, at, like volcanoes and stuff. So it wouldn't be the first time I heard of blue lights uh, around a volcano. Sure. Yeah, I mean, there, there's definitely two lights there. I see uh, the third one. I'm not too sure about, but that there, there's. I see two lights sitting there, and behind seems to be obscured by cloud cover. So, um, can't really make a clear picture of it. I did. Did they say how long it was? It was there for. Uh, no idea. No. Doesn't say. Okay. I've given you uh, everything they they wrote. <laughs> uh, let's see. I yeah, looking at it. I, I mean, I don't know. I maybe a one, <laughs> one on the gimbal scale. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a low night. It's a low night for UFO videos. Um, I mean, I'm not. I, I don't want to say that this isn't, you know, possibly the real deal because I don't know. But that's just the thing, is I don't know. There's not enough info. You know, anything could be making those lights. We don't know if that's the side of the hill. It's just hard. So, you know. I'm going to give a low score, not saying that this couldn't potentially be the real deal, a full on gimbal on the scale. Just we just lack information and there's just not enough for me to look at this with my own eyes and go, oh, 100 percent. So, uh, yeah, there's nothing in here that screams gimbal. Like yeah. it's, <laughs> yeah. it could be two, it's, it's it screaming could be two a, bright two out of stars ten. right next to each other. It could be. Uh, like you said, if, it, if it's a mountain, I don't know if it's, you said it's a volcanic island, could be lights on the, the volcano. Like, yeah, maybe research um, lights on the back or something like, so they're just yeah. studies, who knows? But yeah. for that, I'm it's not little... two, two out of 10 for me that given this one a two. Andrew. Um, like the first one, you know, I, I, could, I ranked it low because I'm like, okay, I can, exp I think I can explain what that is. The second one, I was going to rank it a little bit higher until Dan just 
rained on that parade and told us exactly what it was. <laughs> on the parade so this one, what it looks like. this one, it's like, I, I can't explain what it is, but the thing that kind of kills it for me is they're pretty much sedentary the whole time. They don't move. They don't go anywhere. Right. Like it's, I, I don't know. It's, it's definitely, there's nothing overly intriguing about it. Right. Like it just looks like a couple of dim lights. Yeah. And so I, I kind of, I lean towards maybe a one on the gimbal. Well, and, maybe it, two. and it's tough because I'm like, I don't want to discredit what this person saw and maybe it was amazing, but we don't even have a write up to explain that. You know what I mean? Like if they had this huge write up of been like, I've never seen anything like this. Well, you know, they just put some emotion, how they felt or anything, or, but like, you're like, like, Hey, some lights under the clouds. Right? Well, but, like, it? it'd be nice to know if these people were locals or not. And they knew, Oh, you know what? There's no fucking mountain there. There's nothing there. That doesn't make sense. Right. Like, or this could have been a tourist that might not have any fucking clue what they're talking about. Right. And if, and, it, and if you, in the description, you're writing like which way you're facing that, and that, and that, you know, if you were by a street, you could say I was on the corner of this street and this street. A couple of idiots like us can pull up Google Maps, drop a pin, and kind of peek to see where you were looking. So we could have lined this up. Like, had we had some of that information, we might be able to drop a, a Google Maps pin, see this power line, and then go, oh, shit, there's nothing back there but sky. But we don't know, right? So that's a tough one. Um, next up, we have... This one's from Richmond, Virginia. West Mount Virginia. Mount Mama. Mount Mama. Take me home. In Southern Virginia. Um, or Central Virginia. This is uh, sent in September 17th, 2021. MUFON case 118021. Again, goddamn shitty description. Uh, lights in the sky on 9-11. Come so on, move on. This was step up your oh, they saw game. this on nine eleven. They submitted it on the seventeenth. Okay, uh, I. It's weird that uh, whatever. Uh, the long description saw blinking lights over the river until it was out of our view. Okay. Uh, this one uh, that does have some audio. I don't know. You guys will be able to hear the commentary from the lady, um, but uh, people watching will be able to. Um, there's a little preview, something off in the distance. Uh, let's get into the video. So first off, not landscape, but that's okay. Cause we got some reference reference shot mm -hmm. beforehand. That's good. You know, it's, I want to be I want to be mystified, but the second I see flashing lights like this, I think good. airplane. Yeah, yeah. Rich, Richmond has an airport. Yeah, like, they have an airport. They have a Richmond. Like, because lights look like that on runways and shit like that too. The way it lights up. Right, well, but it could be just a plane like banking. Yeah. yeah. Um, I that's what it is because when I saw yeah when I saw the blinking lights in sequence could have been a. I was like, Richmond has an airport. Now, I mean, we, we've <laughs> talked about it before, um, about, you know, maybe if UFOs are, if there's a, such an advanced civilization, why couldn't they just use, uh, you know, the same kind of blinking lights? Yeah, I've use? seen the Daft Punk. I've seen the Daft Punk secret yeah. of the Interstellar Star. Yeah, yeah. I, I, there's, so there's that chance, but I'm like, you know, <laughs> you don't have much of a description, right? So if, if you live in this place, you should be able to see another one coming shortly if that's a flight path or something. But it, it does seem to just be wings and like wing tip and tip to tip, right? Like front and wings. Um, it does seem to be going around the city. I don't know if there's any more footage of it. Let's see if it comes around the building. But I like this frame reference shots, right? We can see here it comes around the building. Uh, there's something else to the left. That's just a yeah, that's knew, a plane tower. The right? There's a there's a pl friggin' tower. There's a plane tower. They're flashing. It is a, a Richmond International Airport is there is <laughs> is in Richmond. So I mean, um, if they're looking towards the airport or that's a well, part of me wonders plane. if there's like two planes now that we're looking at because you do you see the one like top left and then. Like yeah, they're not gonna be flying that close together though. If I and mean, if they are, that's a well, because that seems mistake. that well, if it's not, that seems like a fucking humongous plane. 
Yeah, but what do you think? It's the fucking snowbirds or something doing, you know, visiting Virginia. Well, maybe, but look at look at the <laughs> look at the where these lights flash. Like, I wish I could pause it right on that one there. Right, like that's a that's quite a distance for some sort of tip to tip. So my thing is, I'm like, I wonder if this is. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I wonder if this is multiple crafts here because if you watch it now, like it, they seemingly get further apart here. I also don't know how far this person lives from the airport. <laughs> like the airport could just be on the other side of that tree line. Like I don't like you know. I, I mean, it might be a big plane, it might be, like, but it's an international airport. It could be a, you know, it it, it could be a. 747 or something like could be a pretty big plane well plane no there's there. not going to be that big like look th that's going to be two different planes and we're seeing one on a different angle than the other but they happen to both be in the sky right but they, yeah, then you might have a big plane and then a small plane like yeah further back or closer or something like that what see i that looks like two planes and we're just oh maybe if i don't know <laughs> to me that looks like one plane banking like to me that looks like one or taking off like i or something like yeah it definitely looks like one plane. Yeah, that that's. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's one object. Like that's that one could, plane. Yeah. That's a fucking. That's a plane. <laughs> that's a plane. That's a plane. <laughs> that's a plane. Uh, zero zero to plane again. We I'm talked about zero. That is a hundred percent a plane. Uh, that plane, is hundred percent evidence that we have mastered the yeah. art of flight. Um, <laughs> but again, at some of those shots, when you look at it, you're like, because it gets further apart. But I think we're seeing two planes. It gives you that illusion of you're like, well, what the hell is that? Um, so I understand why that person filming is curious at that, but um, I I'm gonna lean towards playing on that one. And finally, we have Chorley, Great Britain. Uh, this was Chorley. Chorley. Chorley bit my finger. Uh, this was submitted uh, seen September eighteenth. 2021 a small tic-tac shaped craft with a slight exactly. wavy aura with a reflective top moving high Always. speed across the frame excuse me long description the object was viewed by me my wife and my eldest daughter it wasn't visible until i reviewed the video footage and noticed an extremely fast object entering the frame from right to left I was recording footage of the red arrows performing a fly pass with my family in a clearing so we could observe them a little better. I took the footage to share the special day with friends and family on my social media page. Was very unexpected to view this and couldn't make out what it possibly could be. So there's a nice still of this. Damn, Great thing. Britain bringing in bringing in the heat with the descriptions. Everybody else yeah. has been like, I saw blinking lights. I saw blinking lights. Communication. <laughs> Thanks, Chorley. I don't think his name's Chorley. I think that's where he's from. But uh, yeah. welcome, Chorley. Um, so there's a. I gave a good freeze frame of this um, blown up. You can see strange objects. Um, let's watch the footage. Here we go. Here's the fly path. Okay. Boom. Object flies by. Whoa, whoa, what? I caught it because my eyesight is so much better. Just Apparently. so quick and good. Uh, I'll rewind it. I do have a couple of slow-mos. So if you look oh, right here, see, it, see it? Yeah. Right? I think we got it for three frames, but I can't slow it down that far. So if we let's watch again. Um, boom. You see it zoom past there? No. One more time. Boom. Uh, I got some slow-mo of it. Let's watch. So a little zoom in. He's enjoying the day. He doesn't even realize he's caught uh, something flying past at high speeds. And there's... Okay. yeah. It's only in for three frames. Another zoom in. Well, you can see it at the end, too. It's kind of like following after them at the end, doesn't it? I don't know if it... Go, look, go back and watch, back. watch the full one again, and you can see it kind of follow them at the end. Well, I think that's another plane right there on the right. Oh, okay. That's just another plane. 
Oh, I thought that's just the thing. No. But let's watch it one more time. I mean, this thing's clipping to be only get it in three. Like, I slowed it down frame by frame, and it only this camera only picks it up in three frames. So it's going the opposite direction. Opposite direction. One more time at full speed. I can't even see it at full speed. It, it's it's hard to see, but what we have there is that object. Now, whatever it is, it's small. That's my thing, right? Because you can see it between, we have some reference. We have um, the jets right in the sky. And then this thing seemingly between the jets and the person. So we can see that it's a fairly small object in the sky. Um, if I can go back one more. If I get it. Um, it we can see that in that shot that it passes between the planes. So we know it's likely smaller than the airplanes. Um, and it's underneath them? It's underneath them. Flying silent. Well, it's, it's hard cool. to say if it's flying silent because it's covered by the the massive sound from the jets from the maybe that's arrows. purposeful um, to me when you zoom in when it, the, the zoom in thing and the 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 way that it's it shoots through really quick let's see I, that um like to the size like i'm not really sure how close it is even if it's like I, it's it's subst it's smaller than the planes, right? We're pretty sure it's smaller than the planes. Well, like, basically, with this shot, I can basically. I'm basically. It could be halfway in between the plane, depending on the size, though. Th right? That's like, what I'm saying. I'm I'm saying this isn't this isn't. Above them, I'm saying that this is below them, right? So it's below. It's between the filmer and the planes. This object flies through the screen. So. From right that, there, like on the back there. Yeah, because so if like, you look it at it, it could be. Can you go back though? Okay, are you sure? Like, does it disappear, or does it like does? Can you see it while it goes under the planes, or does it disappear a bit? Like, does it, are we paused? It? No, it's just. Uh, just like well, he was following the planes, so it's, yeah. So the it's fact that through. it, the fact that it disappears like that, leads me to believe it's on top of them though. I think it just goes right because because like, that's just, the. I just think it, it it it's only captured on three frames, so it's just it's absolutely humming this thing. It's fucking weird. Right, um, <laughs> the zoomed in photo, like the zoomed in still, yeah, to me, looks like like a bird of prey diving. Um, you know what? I thought that to me, I was thinking, um, maybe some sort of peregrine falcon, uh, you know, something unbelievably fast diving right. at a high well, rate. It could of be any of the bird of prey. So, I mean, any raptor, look, just looking it up predatory birds that are local to, I guess, Chorley, Great Britain is located near or in Lancashire, near Lancashire, Great Britain. Um, and you have birds of prey that are that are uh, that are present there you have honey buzzards goshawks hen harriers buzzards sparrow hawks kestrels hobbies and peregrine falcons so to me when he zooms in i'm like oh it's like it that's kind of what it looks like and either maybe the bird like i'm thinking so, in my head could be like the bird just like you wouldn't expect the jets coming through the birds just trying to get out of the way yeah but like, would like would bird be moving faster than the jets though no, going back because it's going through the frame. It's diving. It's yeah. So if it, if it's traveling, if this guy's tracking the jets and it's traveling the opposite direction, at, even at a, a healthy speed, you know, I it would so make like, sense I don't know to me. I'm not. I'm not. A, I may that. not be a smart man, but it doesn't sound that out of. The only thing that seems that, like weird for me is that like. If I was filming and watching, I feel like I'd notice a bird. Not well, a, not a peregrine falcon. Like if they're diving, those things are fast. Like have you ever seen a video of them actually? Yeah, they're insane. Diving? Yeah, it's they're, they're like insanely fast. Like you you have to slow mo it just to catch them. Those they dive at like whatever. I mean, if you Google if you Google a photo of peregrine falcon diving, 
that's kind of what it, it fits that profile. That's all I'm saying. It seems to fit that profile. Then again, it's an aerodynamic. It's a pretty aerodynamic design. Um, it does. Like, like it, it's a. Oh. <laughs> you're not right. Like you're not wrong when you look that up. It's it's. <laughs> yeah, it looks a very similar profile. Right, the profile's there. Um, what's the dive speed? Um, 288, 320 kilometers per hour. Wow. Yeah, I I literally watched a video yesterday of like a peregrine falcon like diving on a duck and it like took its head off. Like you didn't even see it. Thing was like fucking Dragon Ball Z instant Poor transmission duck. across the fucking like it was just the camera was framed on the duck on the fat on whatever it was foul or duck and it just it's gone. Um, the only other thing that I question about this video is that I zoom in on this object, right? This is me. This is my zoom, right? That I took of the raw footage. If you look at that, there's a drastic difference between the electricity coming off this one. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Well, that's just, I think that's just resolution. Like, I that's think that's, just, I don't, well, I think this, this still picture has been run through some filters or something to get it to look like that. I don't believe that that is just this enhanced. Why well, I'm pretty, well, they're probably zooming in on it. Just like, I don't think maybe nothing's been done to it. And they're just like, it's well, just the it? resolution is just too low. You know yeah. I mean? See, like, like he's over in there. So let's see that electricity, baby. I don't think it's electricity. I just think it's a product of the, the film or like the, the video. You know, it's tough. It's a tough one. Um, cause it does seemingly have a lighter on top, but you know, that could also, if it is a bird of prey, be the, you know, be the feathers on top, like that shading and the other bit of the sheen. body is, is, yeah, it's the sheen and the other shading. Um, listen, it'd be I, nice. don't, I don't know how he said, like he described it as like, the, he described it as like a shiny metallic object though. But to me, that doesn't seem very reflective. Like, well, I think that's cause he, from his freeze frame, that's what he's, Guessing because sure, he didn't sure. remember, he, he didn't see it at the time. So why right. why I'm saying that this object has to be small is because you didn't notice it at the time, and it's moving right. fast. I will give you that, but it's not moving that fast, right? And this is like clear open skies. If this was a big metallic object, you would you would you would have noticed that the day you would have been like, holy shit! You guys just see that. UFO craft fly between us and the red arrows. That's why it, to me, a, a bird makes more sense. However, that, you know, is this potentially some fast little Tic Tac? I don't know. Um, Scoping out some earth technology. Bird shaped UFO. Kudos on the, the description and the video. Um, kudos for even realizing that there was something there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it took me, I don't know how many times to fucking realize that. Now, on the scale of zero to gimbal, um, I'm going to give this one the highest score I've given today. It's not the best score either, but I'm giving this a five uh, because I, I still believe that potentially it's it's some maybe some small craft. But again, I just you would see, I feel like you would see it in that kind of open sky if it was any bigger. Like it didn't come from anywhere. It came from your right when you're filming. Like you would have seen it or someone would have seen it in the sky it wouldn't have been this thing of like oh i caught it on tape after because you got to remember your it, it it goes through your camera in the opposite way you're filming and you catch it for three frames so say if this is something where there's they're trying to say that like this thing was traveling so fast our naked eyes didn't catch it when it was swooping through you'd be lucky to catch it on one frame if that was the case, but you have it on three frames traveling through, right? So it's obviously not going that fast. Um, I, I'm not saying it's, it's going fast, but not like unbelievably fast. Where like during the day, you're like, I didn't even notice. Like you would have noticed that it wasn't traveling fast enough. So I'll give it a five though, just cause I'm feeling generous. I like the description. Dan, what do you think? Uh, I'll give it a one. Could be a bird. Could we be a bird shape spacecraft? uh like it, to me when <laughs> when you zoomed in <laughs> when you zoomed in on it um when they zoomed in on it like right to me like i mean i've seen the picture before because i know i've come across like the the comparisons of you know you come across those things like oh we design things 
the way that engineers sometimes work is how they design some of the best designs come from nature itself mm -hmm. and so when they were designing when you you know side by side comparison profile of a you know a, a b2 stealth bomber and a peregrine falcon in flight is like the same or similar like a flying wing craft so things like that so i've seen pictures of bird you know birds of prey diving and that's what it looks like closed in I'm not, I'm not an ornithologist. I'm not like, a, I'm not brushed up on my bird science or bird behavioral science. So I don't know why a bird would be there. Or even bird law. Show. Or bird law. <laughs> um, but I know you can't keep a seagull as a pet because you wouldn't want to. <laughs> uh, Andrew, what's your thoughts? It's a tough one. It's interesting. It's cool. Um, could be a saucer. Could be a falcon flyer. Could be the blue falcon's uh, spaceship. I don't know. Um, no, it's cool. I'd give it a, I'm going to give it a two on the gimbal scale just cause the weird thing for me too, is like at the end, you can see a similar object kind of like trail off by them. And it, you know, to me, that probably would be, that looks like a bird and you know, it's similar size, similar well, shape. It's just not moving as fast. Well, now so that it you leads me to believe, leads me to believe that there's birds in the area already. Like, let's, uh, let's, uh, zoom this in here. there's a second here where I actually thought I saw something else zip across right there see that looks like a bird to me that's a plane on the right you think so yeah might be a it's probably a that's probably the filming plane that's probably the plane that's filming them oh okay maybe because those guys are like but hold on hold on hold on under birds right? so here for reference if we look close a bird does fly or something flies across right here you see that I bet we only catch it for three frames as well. Boom. Bird fly right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see it. Right? And that thing clips through fast. I can't get a stop on it. But I bet that if I slow that down. Right there. Right? Yeah. It's actually a little, little more objects. But that's flying fast, so they probably caught that. We probably have that in you know, maybe five or six frames and now the camera's stationary. So if you, you know, extrapolate that the other way. So we know there's birds flying in that area. So now well, look at it's it. nice mean, open. It's a nice open area. Perfect to catch field mice. Like that's probably what they're doing. Swooping or down birds. or yeah. other birds, I guess. So anyways, what yeah. you, you were too, Andrew. Yeah, I'll give it to you. All right. Well, Hey, listen, they all can't be hot weeks. Um, but the more we do these, the, more we're going to find interesting ufo videos um if you want to follow us on twitter it's at truth is out there uh instagram alien theorist podcast you can support the show on patreon patreon.com slash alien theorist podcast you get early access to these shows early access to our podcast and hundreds of hours of bonus content um facebook.com slash group slash alien theorist theorizing is our facebook group and you can buy merch at alien theorists dot com as we always say at the end of these things keep those eyes on the skies peace to keep up to date with all things alien theorist theorizing follow us across social media on twitter instagram patreon and facebook for updates on new videos and content on youtube don't forget to click like and subscribe and hit that notifications button to keep those eyes on the skies with alien theorists theorizing.